What's up guys? I just wanted to share something real fast. This is the Boss OC3. Um, it's an octave pedal designed for guitars or bass, but it's the only pedal that I think every single jazz guitarist needs to have. And I'll show you why in a second. It's got three modes on it. So we're gonna have uh, a mode for the drive channel. We're gonna have a mode to get uh, up to two octaves down. And then lastly, the polyphonic mode. So the first setting is an overdrive plus an octave down. I'll show you what that sounds like. So not totally useful in every context, but um, there's that option if you need it. Second option is going to be up to two octaves down, so I have to play a little bit higher for this to come out of my amp. So I'll show you it with the second octave down all the way up, dry signal, and the first octave turned off. Bypass the pedal. You can hear at the end it kind of glitched up an octave. Um, it's a good pedal, it tracks. Uh, it doesn't track very fast and it can't do chords normally. Um, I'll show you what a chord sounds like. It kind of gets confused there with all the different notes. Um, so here's the octave one and octave two together. You can kind of hear the octaves get lost as you go lower. Um, turn the dry signal back up and maybe I'll quiet that just a little bit. And lastly is the polyphonic mode. So this is the mode that I find most useful. So right now this is the only pedal that enables you to decide which notes you want to head down the octave and which ones you want to stay at pitch. So for example, if I'm playing a B minor seven chord and I want this bottom note to go down the octave and I want the top notes, these four, to stay. Third control here is what's going to decide which note the octave down stops at. So real quick, I'll just turn off the direct level. here by then it stopped so I have it you're getting the octaves that octave down signal all the way there and then by about this E flat it starts fading out and then by this G it's pretty much all the way gone so that's taking the entire bottom octave of my guitar and shifting it down here's what it sounds like when you're playing chords And I'm just going to run it through a different amp here. I've got a Fishman acoustic amp, and this will give you a better idea for the bass response. So pardon the very dry sound here, but this is just with the Fishman amp behind me, taking a direct line out from it.
So I think in a solo context, it really fits. It helps give it that that extra body that you would want in a um, in maybe a crowded restaurant where you're having a hard time cutting through without sounding brittle or loud. And I think just giving it a little bit of body really helps fill up the room a bit. So I'm going to show you guys a few uh, examples of of me using this on gigs and. By no means is it ever going to replace having a real bass player, but I think it's um, if you're not getting paid enough to have a bass player and you just want to bring this pedal along, it definitely pays for itself, I think. guys so that's my demo of the boss oc3 i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure you leave a like down below maybe subscribe to my channel as well um one of my goals with this channel is just to kind of create a community of of jazz musicians or other musicians where we can kind of help each other out and, and show us things about about gear or or music playing in general and hopefully speed along the learning process for some of us so thanks for watching and uh, i'll see you next time